I'm going to talk about our vision or how we work towards a better tomorrow. Our vision lives within our social organization and socialization. One advantage to our social organization is that our society is made up of mostly like-minded individuals. We are an isolated group of people, and as a result, the members of society become everyone's primary social group, which consists of a concern for one another, shared activities and culture, and long periods of time together. Our shared activities include movie nights, family meals, sustainability summits, group lectures, group recreation, art sessions, parties, dances, film viewing, and more. We provide eco-village housing, shared land for residents, emphasis on harmony and interconnectedness. We have over 75 acres of solar panels. We store the electricity in over 4,000 lithium ion electric car battery cells so that it does not have to go into a landfill. We hold yearly elections for our four people governing council. Participation is voluntary. Cooperation and self-determination are prioritized. Each person has an equal vote. In terms of power, our society has no hierarchical structure, meaning every member holds the same amount of power. Power is distributed equally among adults 18 and older using a social anarchism model that follows individual freedom and mutual aid. What about the economy? We follow a three-prong approach. Members of the community contribute to the developing excess agriculture and goods. Educational field trips on sustainability and 10% of the housing on the commune is dedicated to overnight tourism. Income is generated from local utility companies buying green energy credits from our solar farm to offset their carbon emissions. What about civil society? We have a groundwork of tolerance, individual rights, free expression, and collaboration. All members of our society strive to achieve the common good. Every resident is committed to finding solutions to problems in our society. We have a foundational story passed on from member to member across generations. It reads as follows. A woman stands and looks out of her window. What used to be lush greenery, vibrant flowers, and colorful birds is now mountains of trash, explosive fires, and toxic fumes. The woman begins to feel feverish and then collapses on the floor. She is awakened to a new world, communities powered by the sun and wind, the crisper air, Social harmony with tolerance, individual rights, free expression, and collaboration. It was everything she ever dreamed of. Her dream ends, and she is dropped into the cruel world. The woman tells everyone she knows of her vision for a better world. From that day on, she pledged allegiance to all the earth and all the life in which it supports. One planet, in our care, irreplaceable with sustenance and respect for all. We have foundational art that means a lot to our society. It is by Andy Goldsworthy. This art is sustainable and in nature. It uses nature as its canvas. All of the resources used in the artwork are renewable resources found in his own backyard. In our society, we strive to intersect art and sustainability like Andy Goldsworthy does. Here are some examples of some inspirational works that we love here in our society.